Okay, so we're going to find VO and IO for the following circuit. The answers are already given, so if you want to solve this on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we see that this whole section is technically one node. So let's call this whole section node A. Okay, so this will be node A. And let's find an equation for node A. So we see that there's six amps of current entering node A. So let's call this six amps. And we see that there's this much amount of current leaving node A. So this will be equal to IO. And we see there's also this much amount of currents uh, leaving th the node as well. So this will be IO over four. And for this section, we're not really given a direction of current, but we can assume that it's going this way. You could assume the other way, but it doesn't make a difference. So let's call this IA, okay? Now we have to find an equation to substitute IO and IA, okay? So we can we know that the voltage for this entire region will be the same because there's no voltage source or uh, resistors that will alter it. So this whole region will have the same voltage. So let's call it VA, okay? Since the current is moving uh, this direction, VA will go from a high potential to a low potential. So, uh, and the low potential will be zero because this is the ground node, which is zero volts. Okay, so it goes the IO goes from a high potential to a low potential. So it'll be VA minus zero all over the resistor, which is two ohms. Okay, that's what IO will be equal to. And then uh, IA, again, it goes from a high potential to a low potential all over the resistor, which is 8 ohms. So IO will be VA over 2, and IA will be VA over 8, okay? So it will be 6 amps equals VA over 2 plus VA over 2 over 4. And that's just VA over 8 plus VA over 8 uh, as well, okay? So let's take VA out of all of these. So we'll have 6 uh, ohms, sorry, amps, plus VA times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. And this is just 2 over 8 which is 1 over 4. Now uh, let's, and this whole thing, that's just 0 0.75. Okay, now let's divide both sides by 0 0.75. This this cancels out. So VA will be equal to 8 volts. But, uh, and yeah, and since Okay, yeah. Okay, now we can use VA to find IO. So we can use this equation. VA over 2 equals IO. VA is 8. 8 over 2 is 4. So IO is 4. Okay? Now we have to find VO. Well, we actually know what VO is. Because since... Uh, this whole region is VA, which is 8 volts. And since uh, the ground node is 0 volts, there is a difference of 8 volts. So pretty much what I mean is this. So recall VA, go, it goes from a high potential to a low potential, so VA to 0. This is equal to VO. And VO is equal to IA times 8 right? So VO is equal to IA times 8. And look at this equation. We have IA and an 8. So if you bring this 8 to this side, we have 8IA. And 8IA is equal to VA. And 8IA is also equal to VO. So VO is actually equal to 8 uh, volts. So, that's your second answer, okay? 
and that matches what we had over here.